Welcome back to the third tips and tricks video for Mac and Arcana. In this video, we will be talking about abilities. First of all, only the cards in play may influence the game with their abilities. Current Explorer and Event Cards can contribute their abilities to the game. The current chapter card may also have abilities that are able to be activated. For example, this chapter card allows players to sacrifice one essence to move up to three spaces. As for items, any items that are equipped are considered in play, while consumables are played directly from a character's inventory. Items are placed sideways to indicate that they are not equipped. There are three types of abilities, active, passive, and enters play abilities. Passive abilities influence the game as long as the card is in play. Let's say this horror event card is drawn, which has a passive ability on it. This passive ability increases monsters attack rolls by one. This affects all monsters until another horror event card is drawn. Explorers can use active abilities from their explorer card, equipped items, consumables, bound events, current explorer events, and the current chapter card. Monsters may activate abilities from either their monster card or the current horror event. Any activation cost must be paid by the activating unit in order to activate the ability. Let's do some examples. Philip could use Balance Blade's first ability to attack Miko. If he were to do this, he would pay the activation cost, which is 2 stamina, and he would need to target an adjacent unit. Most abilities require a target, either a unit or map space, that the ability will affect. Philip also has this equipped artifact, the Music Box. The first ability on the Music Box allows him to heal a unit within 3 map spaces. Kim is within that range, so he will use the ability on her. The ability costs Philip 1 essence, and Kim has 1 health restored. Philip can also use the second ability on the music box. This ability requires 4 stamina to restore 1 health to the activating unit. Philip makes the trade and loses 4 stamina while gaining 1 health. Both abilities on this artifact have the same effect, but the second does not have a target. An active ability that does not require a target affects the activating unit by default. Let's move to Kim and see how more abilities work. She will move 3 spaces towards the event space, spending 3 stamina. She will then activate the event space for 3 stamina. This restores 1 essence to Kim. Activating this event space allows for a new explorer event to be drawn. Revitalize is drawn, which is an ability that is activated once when the card enters play. This ability restores all stamina, so Kim will have 6 stamina once again. Kim will activate the second event space, which will require another 3 stamina of her. Activating the space also grants her another essence. A second event card is drawn. Breeze of Fortitude. This allows a character to increase their armor by 1 for an entire round for the price of 3 stamina. This is an active ability. Kim will spend her final 3 stamina to activate this ability. An Explorer Marker from Kim's player board is placed onto the card to represent the activation of this ability. The Explorer Marker will be returned to their corresponding player boards once the round is over, or a new Explorer event is drawn. This concludes our third tips and tricks video for Mac and Arcana. Thanks for watching.